Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to another video. So in this one, I want to share with you guys things I wish I knew before I started out in the NICU. If I can go back in time five years ago, these are some of the things I would tell myself starting out as a new grad NICU nurse. So the first one I would tell myself is that pretty much everything that I learned in nursing school through my preceptorship, all those things that I learned about NICU, just throw it out the window because everything I learned in nursing school is usually more catered towards the adult world. They teach you everything about med surge, all these adult diagnosis, and even in peds, NICU was literally a small, tiny portion of it. We learned mostly about pediatrics, all the different age ranges, things like that, but we didn't really cover a lot about NICU. And so the only experience I had in the NICU was two days in my maternity rotation, which really didn't cover anything really much at all. And honestly, what kind of helped at least for me kind of understand the NICU world a little bit more was through my senior preceptorship in the NICU, which was my last semester of nursing school where I was able to gain some more knowledge about NICU, but it was still such a different world for me back then. And when I started out working as a new grad NICU nurse, pretty much everything that I learned didn't really apply anymore, just because the things that I learned at my new hospital through my orientation was a lot different than what I experienced through my preceptorship. Of course, very basic things like a head to toe assessment, things like that, normal vital signs on a baby. Those things kind of were still relevant, but pretty much how I did things such as policies, procedures, certain interventions was just so completely different at the hospital that I was working at. And so the things just, didn't really connect the dots and it was kind of like I was learning everything all fresh and brand new again. So during my orientation though, I was very lucky where I was able to have some classes that my hospital provided for me where they taught very basic information, certain diagnosis that we were gonna see often, how to do certain interventions, things like that. And so I was very fortunate enough to have those classes that they taught us and that really gave me the foundation, but pretty much everything that I learned was just doing it hands-on through my orientation. So that's pretty much where I gained a lot of my knowledge. And so really, if I were to tell myself back then what working as a nurse was gonna be like in the NICU versus the experience I had in nursing school, I was just gonna tell myself that it's just a completely different world. And NICU alone is its own different thing just because pretty much you learn in nursing school is such a wide range of things that it doesn't really cover much of the NICU world at all. And so it's a very small population already. And the fact that every hospital does things a little bit different is kind of what makes NICU a little bit challenging. But I can say now though, I do have quite some experience in NICU now. So it's nice to have the foundation that I did when I first started out as a new grad nurse to kind of gain the knowledge that I did, but really, to be able to be where I am now just took a lot of experience and time doing things hands-on. The next thing I would probably tell myself about the NICU is that babies look very fragile, but they're actually more resilient than you think. So I remember when I first started out in the NICU and seeing a preemie baby literally the size of my hand, and I remember being so terrified to hold all the babies. And I also get a lot of people telling me the same thing where they didn't want to be a NICU nurse, so they're too afraid to be a NICU nurse because they're scared of how small and fragile these babies look. And I totally agree with that. And they can look very intimidating because the size, like they look so fragile, like they can break any instant but honestly they're a lot more resilient than you think and I have never actually worked with adults as a nurse the only experience with adults that I had is through nursing school so I'm not really sure what their recovery period is like since I didn't stay in a unit for a long time or anything like that but in the NICU patients are there for a very long time so you see their progression and as slow as it may seem it's so amazing to see them as the size of your hand to now this full-fledged infant and they're cooing and laughing and smiling and interacting with us. And it's amazing to see that journey. And they go through a lot of things. We have some patients that do well, get sick, do well, get sick and go in this constant back and forth. And you feel very discouraged sometimes in those situations just because you, 
you're seeing them get better and then something happens and they don't get better and they're kind of revert backwards for a little bit and then they push forward and they go back a little and then they push forward again. So it's like, it can be this constant back and forth, but they are so much more resilient than you think. And it's so amazing to see them push through every time and getting to be a part of that journey is truly amazing. So I truly love my job in that sense, but I will admit to you guys too, that it's not always a happy case. And so that's something I would probably tell myself if I were to go back in time as well, that there will be losses and it's not always going to be happy place because I have a lot of people that assume NICU is this grand old place. It's like Disneyland, you get to hold babies all day. and. It can be like that sometimes, but there are some babies who are truly very, very, very sick and some of them don't make it. And not a lot of people know the reality of that and wanna go into NICU not knowing that that occurs. So just keep in mind that as well. I never knew the extent it was going to be starting out. And once I got into it and saw my first death for the first time in the NICU, it became more of a reality check to me that there are certain things in the NICU that may not seem like a happy place, but to me, it's still a place that I absolutely want to work in and be a part of. And I'm not saying that all days are like this. There are good and bad days, like in every unit. So just being aware of that too, that things like this do occur. And that's something I would probably tell myself if I were to go back in time as well. So another thing I would probably tell myself if I were to go back in time too, is that babies um, have this general process where when things start going wrong, it takes a very slow amount of time. And when it finally does hit, they go down quickly. So in adults, probably, maybe you'll see the progression and you will see a patient slowly deteriorating and it's easier to probably capture than probably a baby. Just because with babies, you're gonna notice very subtle signs and symptoms and not really sure what it means. And then when you finally think you figured it out, then it can be like an instant tank. So it's just something that you're going to just see and experience over time. But that's one thing I would tell myself is to be very mindful of the tiny little things that are questioning to you. Have that questioning attitude just because working with babies, you may not know if what symptom you're noticing is probably the start of their period going downwards. And so everything becomes a questioning point. So that's why we look at things in a very meticulous way and notice very small signs and symptoms and question everything just because we never know if that could be the start of something. And so always have a questioning attitude for sure. And that's something I'd probably tell myself too, is that don't try to overlook things, even the small minor things, um, bring it up to somebody. And it may be a minor thing at that point, maybe, and maybe you are overreacting or whatever, but it's better to think in that mentality versus not and kind of pushing things behind yourself and not really thinking too much of it because then it could probably lead to something else. So that's probably a tip I would have to kind of get better at the critical thinking skills I needed back then starting out just because I didn't really notice too much of about those little things because to me i just thought that maybe it didn't really mean anything but now if i were to go back in time i would probably tell myself like hey that thing you were probably questioning about you should have brought it up to somebody and like it doesn't have to be if it's something very very minor you can bring it up to another nurse and just ask them to look at it with you and they can come in and analyze it with you and maybe at least two people were able to notice something um and either that or bring it up to chargers and just say, hey, I noticed something, not really sure if it means anything, but just wanted to let you know. And you can also bring it up to your team in that way too. So that way they're aware that something has occurred, but it may or might not mean something at all. So you never really know. But as long as you brought it up to someone, at least you're not the only one that's been thinking about it. And maybe someone else has probably as well. So that's something I'd also tell myself back then too, to kind of question every little tiny, tiny detail, because now that I know that now, everything becomes a questioning thing for me. And so that's something I would definitely bring up to you guys as a little advice tip for you to just bring up any sort of thing that you notice and question just because it can possibly mean something. So always have a questioning attitude. So the last thing I'm probably going to have to say about 
being in the NICU and something that I would probably tell myself back then is that of course like any other unit you're going to really have to master the art of time management and critical thinking and things like that but in the NICU you're really going to have to learn really quickly so I will say this about myself I feel like I am a pretty quick and fast learner and that I can adapt to environments really well just because you teach me something once and I can usually get it hopefully but a lot of times that is the case for me and so I can learn things pretty quick and so when I started out as a new grad nurse um, yes of course things are challenging and trying to just master the art of time management, critical thinking, those things are always going to be a challenge. But I did feel like I learned a lot quicker just because I feel like I am able to grasp things pretty well. But in the NICU, just know that it's going to be an even faster learning experience just because with babies, they're a whole different type of challenge. With an adult, you can verbalize and talk to your patient and that's probably one good benefit that you have. So that way they can tell you, this is hurting, here is hurting, whatever their pain is. They can v verbally tell you those things versus in NICU, they can't. So you need to really speed up your thinking skills and trying to catch up to this fast paced environment a little quicker than you would probably in another unit. And I'm not saying this to scare you guys or deter you at all because Everyone has a different learning pace, and so I'm not trying to scare you at all, but I just do want to tell you that because NICU is an ICU, that there's going to be times where you're going to have to think really quick on your feet, and you're going to have to run around like crazy, and so there are going to be times like that. I'm not saying that this happens every single day, and that it's always crazy hectic and things like that, just because to be honest, I don't thrive in those kind of environments, and so I can't picture myself in an environment where 24 seven, it's constantly hectic, crazy, busy all the time, but I will say in the NICU that it does happen, and so you really need to be fully prepared for it. You need to really think on your feet at some times, and so you're just going to have to learn fast, and what I'm trying to say is that try to keep yourself in an open mind and that try to learn as much from your experiences. The best thing I could probably give advice for you is to really put yourself out there. And anytime someone is doing a procedure, anything like that, anything, ask them if you can observe at least or be a part of it just because that's really how you're going to learn. And that's how you're going to learn fast too. So use opportunity while you're still learning through your orientation and things like that to really grasp as much information as you can. And I'm not gonna say you're gonna memorize it all because there are times where things I learned in orientation I forgot because I haven't done it in a while, but at least you got to experience it because that way when you do it again, the movement starts to become more fluid and you're like, hey, I remember doing this before. I remember seeing this before at least. So hopefully these tips are helpful for you guys. And yeah, these are all the things I'd probably tell myself back then, starting out as a new grad nurse, in the NICU um, and these are probably some of the things I wanted to share with you guys so hopefully this video is helpful and I will see you guys in my next one bye Hi.